Welcome to episode 30 of Kid Fit. I'm Michael. I'm Tiffany, and today we are filming at Velocity Sports Performance in the West Island. It's very exciting today because it's their open house. We might even get to try out some stuff, but I actually work here, so yeah. I already know what's going to happen. All right, so I'm very excited, so let's get on to Fit News. So what is going on in Fit News this week? A little bit of news I found on CBC. Mm -hmm. uh, turns out that Nike has designed a running shoe specifically for North American natives. Really? Yep. So it's pretty interesting. It's, uh, they did it to promote physical fitness in the population because of their high obesity rates. Mm -hmm. okay. The shoe is actually called the Na Air Native N7. Okay. It's a larger fit for their distinct foot shape. Okay. So it's a bigger toe box. And I also believe there's something, uh, the design too, right? A little bit? Yeah, it, it's actually, the, it, there's a cultural significance to the design of the shoe. Oh. Uh, like the style and everything. But uh, the shoe is actually only distributed within North American Native communities. So mm -hmm. it's sold only to, to them or for them. Uh, the shoe is about $42.80 US. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's sold wholesale to the Natives. And uh, all the profits that Nike gets from the shoe will go back to the community to help their health and fitness program. Wow, that's excellent. And I, I've never heard of uh, any other shoe manufacturer do something so specific. No, um, Nike actually said it, said, said it themselves that this is the first time that they actually specifically made a shoe for a specific culture. That's very interesting. Yeah, so it's um, uh, yeah. definitely very positive because it helped promote physical activity within a community that's lacking it right now. Wow. Um, any news if it's going to come up to Canada? Uh, no specific news. That, I didn't read in uh, on an article that might be coming to Canada, but I'm pretty sure it includes Canada as well because we have North American in, uh, natives as well. So hopefully it does come up here. Oh, I sure hope so. I'm very excited to see if there's going to be some positive outcomes out of this project because it uh, sounds like a good one to me. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Um, anything else going on? Yep. I recently went out uh, to check out a site called Erwutron.com. Erwutron.com is actually an ergonomic company. And uh, on their site, they actually have something called Make Your Workstation Fit You. Okay. So the, what, when you go there, it's actually you see a picture of someone sitting down or standing up in front of a counter or sitting on a desk. Uh, well, in front of a desk. And they have a height chart. So when you click on a specific height, like within five feet one and well, five foot one and six foot four, it actually tells you various values on the chart of your sitting eyesight, your standing eye height, and your seat height. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, it would be very useful, especially since it's tailored to each person's height. Yeah. So now you know specifically, for me, how high my chair should be versus how high your chair would be. Yeah, So because they also mentioned your sitting and standing elbow height as well. Yep, very good. Yeah. Very useful for everyone working in an office workspace. Yeah. So very simple to use. Like, 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 uh, like you said, you just click on your height and boom, the number pops up. Very quick. Very easy. Yeah. Mm, so try it out. So definitely check it out. All right. And anything else? Yeah, last bit of news, I went by lifehacker.com and mm -hmm. I found this little bit. They actually talked about uh, um, an individual's blog, I believe his name is Jonathan Aquino from Victoria, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. He actually shows you how to make your own Aeron ergonomic chair at a cost of zero. Wow. Yeah, because uh, Aeron ergonomic chairs are actually around $300. They specifically make ergonomic chairs for people who work in offices. Mm -hmm. Okay, But obviously if we have a tight budget, we can't pay $300 for a chair. He teaches you to use simple things that you can find at home. A towel, a chair, a telephone book, a bungee cord or belt, and a, uh, I believe a cutting board. Put all those things together and you got yourself an Aeron ergonomic chair. Well, I don't believe it would be Aeron anymore. It, no, but it'll be something similar to it. Right, not aesthetically. So if you are going for an aesthetic look, I'd probably suggest you not use these things. But if you want to use something for at home and you didn't mind using all these things, and it's a good project for a rainy day, I'd do it. Yep, and it's good to sit well at home as well. Very, very important. Good. So I believe that is it for Fit News this week. On this week's Speak Up, I'm going to be talking to Andrew, our sports performance director, who's also my friend and boss, but um, I don't know where he is right now. Hey, come back! So this is Andrew, my boss and co-worker, co colleague. So, uh, Hi, everybody. So how are things going along here at Open House today? Actually, we just started. It's been, what, 40 minutes. Uh, we do have a couple of people here, so it's going so far pretty well. Good. Yeah. Uh, so would you like to tell some of our viewers what Velocity Sports Performance is? Well, What's what exactly we do is, uh, is we work on the speed, power, and agility of the athletes. It, could, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could be athletes or not, 
doesn't matter, it's still gonna help you. So that, that's fun about it. And what's also fun about it is that it doesn't matter also what age group you are. And you could be, we start at eight actually, not under that. Okay. But you can start at eight and build yourself, obviously, into a professional athlete while coming here. It's still gonna work. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit winded here. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> It's still going to work on the speed that you need for the activity or the sport that you do. So let's say you play hockey. This is a good off-ice training for hockey. So we're going to work on your speed, how to be faster on and off the, the ice, how to stop perfectly and change angle and do some multidirectional um, exercise drills, actually. Okay. And also work on maximum velocity also, which helps a lot for your top end speed while you're running in sprints or your coordination also. Okay. So we work on all these aspects in one, one session actually we can work. So what happens is that um, uh, when you come here actually what we do is first of all we do a dynamic warm up. Okay, we don't do any more static stretching stuff before an exercise. We focus a lot on dynamic warm up stuff. So you'll go through about 15-20 minutes warm up of dynamic exercise. It could be a normal squat, it could be so dynamic stretching, nothing static. Okay. And uh, you'll go through that for about 15 and 20 minutes. And okay. at the same time, what's, what's fun is that it also concentrates on, uh, it can also work on your hip mobility or shoulder mobility as we're doing the, the warm-up. Okay. So that's about 15 minutes, 20 minute warm -up. After that, we go with, in what we call the lesson plan. Now, the lesson plan is either that day when you come in for training, you work on either acceleration, either multidirectional, or either maximum velocity. So, let's say you want to work on, let's say you're coming in today and you want to work on acceleration. Acceleration basically is the first part of a sprint, of a start actually, so it's about 10 to 12 first steps or 10 to 12 first tries if we're still talking about hockey. Okay. okay. And you need to have a proper, a good angle, so we gonna, we're gonna coach you, but also show you the biomechanics behind it, okay. which is important. How, okay. how to uh, have a better alignment, how to, to have a proper angle when you sprint or when you're So basically off move more sprint. efficiently to not be tired as fast if you were to do a, that specific movement or for that sport. Exactly. Well, be more efficient, especially okay. bio biomechanically when okay. you're doing your sport. And um, after that, what we do after that session, we work on all, well, after or in between, actually, as we're doing it, we also work on your energy system. Okay. So, I mean, as you're learning, you're still going to work on your cardio pretty much on what's what is exactly specific to your sport. Okay. Basically, it's going to help you. You're going to be in better shape, that's for sure. And uh, at the end, we do uh, some power lifting stuff. Some, some, we work mainly on strength. Uh, we, work, we do some power snatches, power lifting, power cleans, I should say. Some could be some squats or jump squats. We work a lot of, on, on what's uh, so biometric and and, uh, so all functional exercises, all free weights. Exactly. Okay. A lot of functional exercises. We focus on that. We're not normally, we're not going to work on isolated muscle like the bicep, let's say, right. but we're going to work on your movement, the movement that you're going to do whole on body. the build or on the ice. Yeah, so exactly. whole body. Exactly. Okay. And how long is total of the entire session? Well, it depends. We have a lot of session, different sessions, different packages, so it could last up to an hour if it's a team training or an hour and a half if you're in the, coming here individually. Okay. So uh, if there's more information that our viewers want to check out, is there a website that... Uh... Yeah, you can check out our website. It's www velocitysp.com slash Montreal. Ah, okay. Okay. Or you can also call us at 514-684-7007 also. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us today. It's a pleasure, Michael. And, uh... Um, want to run? Wait to the end. Let's go. <laughs> so, on today's information, we are going to be talking about cranberries. Some new research has shown that there is a special compound in cranberries that, um, helps to fight tooth decay and bacteria. So this works by um, actually, it makes the tooth less sticky so the bacteria can actually stick onto it. So I think that's good news. I don't want really that much bacteria sticking to my teeth. Um, but in any case, what uh, researchers are thinking of now is actually extracting that compound and putting it into mouthwashes and toothpaste so we can have that extra fighting action against all those bad, bad things. 
So I think that's actually a really good idea, but don't go out and start uh, consuming all the cranberry products you can find because a lot of them do contain added sugar, which would counteract that uh, uh, bacteria fighting goodness that cranberries have. So of course, um, it's suggested moderation, of course, uh, like always is key. And uh, if you consume your uh, cranberry juice with no sugar added with your meals, then that should be pretty good. You don't have to go out and, and you know, eat all these crazy cranberry products now. Um, but in any case, I thought that was good news. And as well as um, helping with tooth decay, cranberries have traditionally been very good for the urinary tract and has maybe even been shown uh, to help fight stomach ulcers because of the same properties that it has in the mouth. So making basically everything less sticky to bacteria so it can't really stick on. And they're also helping to, uh, to do research um, about maybe fighting heart disease and cancers because of all the antioxidant properties in cranberries. So whenever those studies show up, I'll let you know. But for now, I think um, I'm going to go have uh, a little bit of lunch, some cranberry juice. So I think that'll be it for this week's information. So this wraps up this week's episode of KinFit at Velocity. So please check back our show notes for all those important things we want you to find out about. And if you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions you want to give us, just email them to us at info at kinfit.tv. And a big thank you goes once again to Andrew, our very special guest today, and Amanda, our camera lady. So remember, don't quit. Stay fit. So today on... Today on today's information... <laughs>